Oh, excuse me. Hi, this is Envision. I'm here to talk to you about a zero waste practice that my family and I take part in. And we go back to the time of grandma and grandpa, back to the time of hankies. And we have been experimenting with this this year and it's going pretty well. It's actually not a bad transition. So, sorry for the shakiness. Um, I found this awesome stainless steel tissue box. I really have a few of them. They're not hard to find in this area. I found it at Goodwill. And then I have all kinds of colorful hankies. And I just leave them around the house and if somebody needs to blow their nose, they take a hanky and then they keep it with them. Um, I know you're thinking, gross, I don't want boogers in my pocket. But really, if you think about it, when you're sick or you have a tissue, sometimes you put it in your pocket and you'll use it multiple times and then you'll throw it out. It's not really any different. So we use these and when, when we're done with them, then we wash them and we reuse them and we are wasting less this way. Like I said, it hasn't been a bad change. They're actually stronger than regular tissues, so they kind of work better. Uh, change is challenging if you've grown up with a uh, one certain way of blowing your nose your whole life. Sometimes you miss the old way. I kind of find that with like a new toothpaste that I use or whatever. Um, so I did find a box of tissues in my um, eight-year-old's room and I said, where'd you get these? And uh, grandma took her to the store and she bought them with her own money. <laughs> but um, in general, I mean, I don't think she's suffering because of using hankies. I think she was just missing the old style. Um, our house has been a lot cleaner because um, there used to be dirty tissues around in the beds or around the computer because we have people with allergies and now that's pretty much solved the problem hasn't it Josie yeah the house so it's an easy switch out get yourself some hankies and try it out for yourself